So in today's video, we're going to talk about how EA Delay in the Weekend League is either going to rise or drop the market this weekend. So just for the video, does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, €4 Euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. Now I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs and now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about how the impact of EA delaying Weekend League by another week is going to go and affect the market. We're going to talk about what happens during Weekend League rewards and therefore what happens with the supply and demand. We're going to talk about how different players are affected. And then as a result, we're going to talk about how the timeline that I guess I dropped yesterday, how it will be affected, either cards being more dropping more, rising more, a card's going to drop later and so on. So for those who are not aware, EA decided yesterday that um, about three days before Weekend League occurs, we're going to go and delay it by a week, which uh, is very, very interesting practice. But what this does is it does have a bit of a knock-on effect to the market. And what we're going to do in today's video is we are just going to go and talk through those things. So I think the first thing we should look at is actually looking at what impact does Weekend League have on the market, because obviously now it's been taken away, so we can see, you know, what does this do? Well, initially, Weekend League is going to have an impact for people buying teams. Uh, this is going to be increasing demand across, I'd say, anything 10k and above, especially on some of the more top-end players, because if there's no incentive to have the absolute top-end players, then, um, you know, then they shouldn't be as much. So first off, it is going to decrease demand across the market. Now, what that is going to do is that's going to mean that if players are dropping because of OT, uh, because of RTTK packs, because of Rose the Knockout stage, they're going to rebound less because there is less incentive and there is less people buying these top end cards, especially with the 50k plus cards or the 100k plus. Basically, the more expensive the card, the better they would have held their value slash rebounded for weekend league because there would have been people wanting to buy those cards. Yet those cards wouldn't have impacted much. Whereas the cheaper, tea, cheaper cards, yes, there would have been an increase in demand, but I don't think there would have been an increase in demand as much as the top end cards for what is on the market. So um, first off, we've already got cards not rising as much if we do see, well, when we do see. So first off, we do have cards not rising as much as they normally would because there is lower demand. The second thing to look at is going to be what happens when people finish Weekend League. Now, when people finish Weekend League, they go and get themselves rewards. So they go and get themselves a mixture of 50k packs, they go and get themselves a mixture of 100k packs, and then of course they go and get themselves some coins. Now, what is quite interesting from this is what these packs do to the market is they supply and they also increase demand. So obviously, in the let's go and have a look at the 100k or ultimate pack. In an ultimate pack, you are not likely to get anything above 50k. You're likely to get fodder, you're likely to get cheap players. So what Weekend League Rewards does is it increases the supply of cards who are cheap, basically. And then as you get cards more and more and more expensive, the packs less often, which means it isn't really increasing the supply. So if I go and get paint out, all right, if we go and get, let's say, an ultimate pack. In an ultimate pack, there is a high chance of you packing three... 10k players because it's just how it works there is a medium chance of you packing let's say one 50k player so you, you can do it and there is next to no chance of you packing anything over 100k like next to no zero times so what does this mean well what this means is this means that well, because we've got no weekend league there is less supply of very cheap cards because very cheap cards would get packed in these 50k packs. They'd get packed in these ultimate K, ultimate packs and then fodder would get packed in the first pack. So this is actually good for the market with cheap stuff because again, even though there is, a, there is less demand on the market because of weekend league, there is also less supply because these cheap cards are not going to get packed as much. So that is, that is a good thing for the market. It means your cards are going to be more expensive and you're not going to see the crash being as bad as if it was. Now, 10k cards are still going to get packed in promo packs being open for RTTK one way or the other. So it's not like the, these cards aren't going to drop. It's just this will you know, affect it less. Now, because there was already a low chance of packing cards that are, let's say, 50k plus, it's not really going to have the biggest effect on that. So, for example, cards like Saliba... 
Um, it doesn't really make that much difference in terms of supply with there being weak in league and there not being weak in league because the odds of new packing someone of the caliber of Saliba was, is a lot, lot lower than new packing the likes of a Darwin Nunes, maybe an Ansu Fati and, uh, and co. And again, this also follows through with cards that are 100k. You weren't going to pack cards like this very unlikely anyway. So the the increase in supply of cards like this because of Week in League is, um, is you know, there's no real difference. But it also does work on the flip side. So if we go and look at this, you would have got a 30k, you would have got an ultimate pack, you would have got a rare players pack, you would have got a double 85 uh, pack, and then you got some untradeable stuff. Which means I would say that from this reward, you would get 30, would be generous, 60... 80 and then let's say let's say you got 120 now if you go and get 120k what are you going to go and do you are potentially going to go out your way and go and buy some 100k players so what this also does is it not only does it now not only does it uh, not increase the supply but it also not increases the demand because if someone gets 120k what they're going to go and do is they're going to go and buy gold meta cards that are 120k but like we said earlier, these players who are 120, 100k are not being packed. So by no weekend league this weekend, it means that the high, the more expensive cards are not being packed, but they're also not being demanded. Oh, sorry, yeah, which means they're also not being demanded. Which means that higher rate, like more expensive cards, because rating doesn't mean anything. More expensive cards this weekend league, are, this weekend are less demanded than if we had weekend league. Because Weekend League would allow people to sell their Weekend League rewards and go and buy 50k players, 60k players, 70k players, 80k players, 90k players. But as a result, not being able to buy them, and again, they weren't packing them anyway, it means that these cards are not going to hold as well and they're not going to rise if they're not going to rise as well. I still think there's going to be a rebound Friday to Saturday, but I think because people aren't getting coins from Weekend League, they're not going to be able to afford these players. And again, this kind of also trickles down to some of the cheaper cards. Cards that are 40, 50k for maybe some of the people who don't get as many coins from Weekend League. Um, these cards, again, aren't going to rise slash hold as well. Because people aren't getting 10, 20, 30k from the lower Weekend League rewards to go and buy these cards. So the next interesting thing to look at would be... Well, okay, so, you know, the demand's a little less there, but what about people not selling stuff when they finish with Weekend League? So a very common thing is people finish the playing their games when we, with Weekend League, and then they'll go and sell their team off, meaning we see the market drop on a Sunday. Well, if we go and look last year, last year this is RTTK came out on the 7th. Uh, the market dropped on Saturday. It did half rebound Sunday, Monday, potentially people buying their Weekend League teams, and then it dropped Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then rose a little bit of people building their Weekend League uh, team. Well, you can argue that, well, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday drop was people just selling the teams that they bought over the weekend. Um, I would say yes, potentially, but I would also say the demand to play the game in the first few weekends of FIFA is massive compared to midweek. This is, again, we saw this happen last week. So even if people aren't playing Weekend League, there's still a lot of people playing the game on a weekend compared to midweek where there's not many people playing the game, but the cards are still being supplied. Uh, I'd also say that because we're, le we're less likely to see this jump, because this jump again is potentially people selling their Weekend League, is that you're more likely to just see rather than, let's get a little graph here, rather than seeing like this, what you're more likely to see is probably like this, where it's just, you know, non-stop dropping rather than a rebound for a day or two. Um, which, again, isn't too amazing. So the question is, when is going to be the cheapest time to go and buy gold cards? Because there is a chance that Sunday is the cheapest, and then I'd say there's a chance that Wednesday, Thursday is the cheapest. Now, what I always say with gold cards is you can't buy gold cards without losing coins. Gold cards at the beginning of FIFA just consistently is nothing they're nothing more than just losing coins because these cards are just consistently being supplied yet consistently being less demanded they're less demanded because there's consistently promo cards SBCs and objectives replacing gold cards in your teams they're consistently being supplied because they're packed in marquee matchup they're packed in division rivals they're packed in foot champs so gold card you can't buy without losing coins that's the answer I can't give you a time when safe to buy my team no that doesn't exist if you're buying gold cards if you want to buy promo cards, you've got RTKs on Wednesday slash Thursday, Team Week 2 on Sunday, and Team Week 1 on Friday, and these are nice safe cards. 
but you can't buy promo cards. Sorry, you can't buy gold cards and not lose coins. But if I was going to take a punt, um, especially with us seeing a bit of a rebound, if I can get the Varan, especially with us seeing a bit of a rebound last year between the Thursday to the Friday, uh, which for me would indicate this is people building their weekly teams, I think the market would be the cheapest Wednesday evening slash Thursday evening. The only problem is it will probably go down like Friday evening, Saturday, Sunday. So right here is... Um, yeah, this would be like Saturday morning, it being cheap all day, Sunday, Monday. So, you, again, you can't buy players who are gold without losing coins. But if you're doing a recommended time, I'd say Wednesday evening, if not Thursday, with Division Rival Rewards. And then, obviously, you want to sell them ASAP. And I think that just about wraps it up. So, the main, again, impact is that there should be less demand for especially the more top-tier cards this weekend. 50k+, plus, 100k+, plus, which will um, mean that the market probably won't rebound as well as it would have uh, Friday to Saturday. Um, the supply of cheap cards is less. Again, there's still gonna be a lot of supply, but it's less than what it would have been because the cheap cards are what's packed in foot champs. Um, Fodder probably doesn't drop as much as it normally would have because, again, people aren't getting these double 85 packs, which is probably good for those uh, that want to go invest in Fodder. And um, yeah, again, heroes and icons are still gonna follow, give or take the same trend as golds, unless they're the unicorns that seem to be rising in this market. But hopefully that should have given you guys some good analysis on what's going on with the market. Uh, yes, it is bad news. But that's no surprise. Everyone thought that no weekend league is bad news. Um, the one thing I will just throw out there is that there is a chance that we do not see it follow the trends of the week where we got RTTK and actually follows the trends of this. This is what happened last year, um, the week before weekend league. But the problem is, last year, the week before Weekend League, we only had one to watch. And one to watch is not having... One to watch doesn't replace gold cards, right? Like, if you've got one to watch Richarlison, and it's 81 rated Richarlison, he's not necessarily replacing your Darwin Nunes. Whereas RTTKs, you have Road to the Knockout Stage Lamar, that could be replacing your gold card take. So that's the... You know, that's why I'd say I wouldn't really look at the trends of how one to watch reacted to that, how they reacted to one to watch. I look how they reacted to RTTK. Likewise, the SBCs aren't replacing the golds in your teams. Likewise, the objectives probably aren't replacing the golds. So, um, what we did see happened again last year was the week before weekend league, the market did actually rise Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the way through to Thursday, and then drop again. If we get to probably Sunday, Monday, and the market is still rising. We could probably gamble that it's then going to follow this trend rather than this trend, but again, I'd be very surprised by that because I think RTK uh, has more packs open, more SBCs completed, more people replacing players in their team, therefore wouldn't follow the trend of um, one to watch and one week before foot champs. But so that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.